All right, hey everybody. Uh, this is Juan Martinez of the Easyville Network, and we're trying something a little bit different here today. Um, Under Armour announced that they were going to be introducing a new customization suite on their website, and they're calling it UA Icon. So we're going to give that a little test run today and try it out on some of their sneakers that I have available, which as of right now includes the Under Armour Curry One, the Under Armour Icon Highlight, and the Under Armour Icon Clutch Fit Force, with more coming in the fall. So, it's, as it says here, it says here are the tools, the rest is up to you. You can actually add images, which is kind of similar to what my, Adid my Adidas did with uh, the ZX Flux. They've got customiz uh, customizable patterns, um, and also limited edition prints and colors that pretty much are self-explanatory, similar to what Nike ID is at. So, let's give this a run, and let's go with as pretty obviously, we'll go with the Under Armour Curry 1. Okay, so this is actually a beta. Shipping begins uh, mid-July. So let's see at the very least what we can do right now with it. Kind of play around with the colors and the patterns and some of the images. So let's see what we can do right now. So it's loading. Okay, here we go. So we're going to be messing around with the Curry 1. So I've got a, a couple different options here on the upper, the upper logo, tongue, tongue logo, laces, lining, toe cap, heel counter, top line midsole, the midsole itself, external shank, the outsole, and then finally you get to pick the size. So apparently you can customize it to the point where you actually have two totally different shoes on the left and the right as in like the patterns can be different the images can be different so that's pretty awesome and for 160 that's a pretty good price considering that curry ones at the time where i believe like 120 or 130 so that's actually pretty cool so let's start with the upper of this curry one and let's see uh let's go with uh patterns first because colors i'm pretty sure what colors everybody knows what the are going to be those are pretty straightforward so we've got a couple different options here we've got leopard digi camo geo cash rush and uh multi splatter and then oh there's another one here at the end block gradient so oh, those are pretty neat so and then you can edit the uh, colors in the pattern so let's try something here. Uh, which one will have the colors popping? Uh, let's go with Geocache for now. And then there's, let's see. Okay, so you've got four different colors that you can edit. So let's try something that most people recognize with Curry's uh, the Golden State Warriors colors. So let's go with color one. Uh, let's do Taxi. Two. Let's go with Team Royal. Uh, there's a San Tropez color. Uh, color three, white. And then color four, let's go with black just to make it stand out a little bit. Okay. So, it's pretty neat. I mean, I'm, I'm surprised the UA didn't just release this when they were dropping the curry ones a couple of years ago. Um, and then there's an option to change the position. Uh, oh, and you can actually kind of mess around with the size. Let's see how that looks. Oh, all right. That's interesting. You can get that granular with this. So you can make the shapes larger or smaller with this one. And then you can rotate the pattern. Okay, that's pretty neat. The level of customization on this is pretty impressive. Uh, move it horizontally. And then move it up and down. That's cool. Right, well, let's just come up with something random. Let's just move back here. Move back here. Rotate it like this. And then get 
get some more crackles on the shoe. Okay, let's just leave it at that for now. And let me see, what if I just switch the color, I mean the uh, pattern, to leopard, okay, Digi Camo, yeah, Mozi Splatter, Rush, and Blot Radiant, yeah, and I think we'll stick with the Geocache, and then, let's see, did it actually mess up the uh, positioning, okay, it did, so, let's kind of just pull that back. So let's go back and then we'll go with the uh, upper logo. Let's see, got a lot of different options here. The UA logo right here. Go black, silver, metallic gold, steel, Neptune. Me being me, I would totally go with something like that, but let's kind of stick with something that most people will mess with. So. So that it'll actually pop. Let's go to the tongue. Black tongue, steel, cardinal, red, yellow. I think we'll go to yellow. I think yellow will pop a little bit more. Tongue logo. I think we'll stick with white there. Uh, laces. <laughs> Again with the Neptune teal, I kind of want to go with that. I just just to just be that different person. Um, let's see. Blue laces, sure, why not? The lining. Let's see, we've got gold, black. Let's go with yellow. Okay, so cap. Uh, right now it's white. That yellow looks pretty cool too. Team Royal. Yeah, let's go with the Axie Yellow. Top right midsole. Uh, okay. So let's get that the charge logo. It's highlighted there. Um, let's go with uh, Taxi Yellow. Uh, the midsole. Let's see. Let's do with this. Taxi. Team Royal. Yeah, let's go with Team Royal. Kind of give it that contrast right there, and then the uh, external shank, got white, like navy, black. Uh, let's see. Now nah, let's keep it like the bottom, more of a blue. So it's a uh, team royal. It is, and the outsole. Let's see. Got black, white, steel. Translucent and uh, gum, which <laughs> should be kind of funny to look at. Okay, no, that's not gonna work. Ah, let's see. Translucent, steel, black, or white. Mm, more of a white outsole kind of dude, although it does look gray right here, it doesn't actually look white. So it's kind of interesting to see how that'll actually turn out. So for right now, let's go with something that we know what it will really look like black. So, okay, so we got a black outsole right there, and then our size, our size 11, and we are good to go. So, that's actually just one shoe. You can actually just go crazy. So, right now we've got the uh, right shoe. Now, let's go with the switch to the left and go with something totally different because why not? So let's add a photo. Let's try that. So upload photo. File requirements. Uh, resolution needs to be at least 72 dots per inch. Supported file types. 
Mario Koto. I'm guessing trademark, of course, trademark content is not allowed. Obviously, stuff that's offensive or inappropriate is not allowed. And then... Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I see. I see. So, it's not actually you can do two totally different shoes. It says, your image will be mirrored on the other shoe, possibly appearing backwards. Abstract patterns tend to work best. Image may repeat when adjusting size. Okay, good to know. All right, so, upload photo. Well, let's go with a quick Google search and go with a Steph Curry photo. So let's change the size. Let's go with a large. Yeah. Let's see. It's a high quality image. Let's see how this. Okay, let's see. Let's just go with something like that right now. Obviously, this is probably a copyrighted image, so we probably won't be able to actually use this in the final product, but let's just save it there. So there is Steph flipped over. So obviously that's why uh, UA mentioned that you should probably go with an abstract pattern because the other side, the other shoe will actually just flip over. So let's just go to the right shoe. Okay, so now it's a little bit, so you can see the Golden State is actually readable this time. So let's edit the position. Uh, let's see, the image may repeat if after shrinking or shifting so but we want to see Steph on the actual shoe and not just his jersey so let's make it a little bit smaller and then move it down so you can see his face or up okay and then rotate nope I do, like I said, I do love the fact that you can really play around with the size of the picture and um, move it around to where exactly you want it. That level of detail is actually pretty cool on Under Armour's part to let us play around with the possibilities. So we've got that. That's pretty neat. Of course, what I, I would have to have to change up the colors to actually make sense with this. But okay, that's cool. Uh, now, let's go try to replace the image with something that I think is hilarious, which is this. And you can't, I'm not sure if anybody can tell right now what that is, but let's have a little fun with that. Let's reduce the size so people can tell what image I'm talking about. <laughs> it's the infamous, uh, Clay Thompson signing a toaster picture. Yeah, there you go. So that's cool. <laughs> oh man, when I first saw the email for this from Under Armour, I was like, that's the first thing I thought of doing, was making a shoe with, uh, with Clay Thompson on there signing a toaster. It's just too funny to look on Clay's face. <laughs> Oh my gosh, oh that's too funny. <laughs> oh, I, I, like, I just had a pretty good laugh at that. Sorry, apologize, but <laughs> like I said, we can imagine walking around in a curry one and then you have clay right there. <laughs> With the toaster. Oh my gosh. Uh, like I said, that's really funny to me. So, all right. So let's go to review and buy, even though I won't actually get it till mid July. But like I said, this is a pretty cool concept by uh, Under Armour. Uh, it and 
it really gets people remembering the Curry 1, which I, in my opinion, save for the Curry 4, which has been, uh, Steph has been wearing during the finals, which is actually pretty cool. But in my opinion, the Curry 1 has been the best uh, Curry signature shoe so far. And uh, to bring it back in this way is actually pretty cool. So, yeah, uh, like I mentioned, uh, shipping for these kicks won't actually begin until mid-July. So people can actually get on it right now. At least play around with the possibilities of what you guys can do with the sneaker itself. And there's also other shoes, uh, but they're, I think they're cleats at the moment. And, of course, Icon is going to have more shoes down the line. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little, I'm not going to say tutorial, but this uh, visual guide of the uh, UA Icon customization suite as available right now on underarmor.com. So yeah, this is uh, Juan Martinez of the uh, Easyville Network. Hope you guys enjoyed that. I certainly did. Thanks to Clay Thompson signing a toaster. Uh, be sure to check us out at patreon.com slash Easyville. Don't forget to subscribe. And yeah, I will see you at the next thing. Really, it's a toaster. And they haven't lost since, which is hilarious. So great. So great. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching.